Hello all. Today's video is about transaction state. Now, the first state is the active state. In this state, it executes all the instruction. All the changes made by the transaction now are stored in a buffer in the main memory. After the last instruction of the transaction has executed, it enters into the partially committed state. That means it has executed all the instructions that are present in the transaction but still all the changes that are been done by that transaction are present in the buffer in the main memory and they are not yet updated to the database so the transaction is said to be partially committed that means all the transaction is uh, all the instructions are been executed but not yet committed that is not yet saved to the database now after all the changes made by the transaction have been successfully stored in the database it enters into the committed state now the transaction is considered to be fully committed after the transaction has entered the committed state it is not possible to roll back the transaction okay now once the transaction has committed it cannot be rolled back that means it has already done the changes to the database that cannot be undone that cannot be rolled back now if by mistake some transaction has been carried out which was not supposed to but now you want to undo that so in that case as rollback is not going to work so what we'll have to do is we'll have to construct another transaction which is going to exactly exactly going to carry out the reverse operation fine for example if a transaction has credited 20 dollars to account a but which was not expected so that was kind of a wrong transaction now we want that changes to be rolled back so now as the changes are been done to the database they cannot be rolled back so what we'll be doing is we'll be writing another transaction which will just deduct 20 dollars from account a this kind of transaction is called as compensating transaction that means the changes that cannot be rolled back as the transaction has been committed therefore we write another transaction which is going to perform the reverse operation well now when the transaction is getting executed in the active state or in the partially committed state some failure occurs due to which it is impossible to continue the normal execution then it enters into the failed state after the transaction has entered into a failed state all the changes made by it have to be undone to undo the changes made by the transaction it becomes necessary to roll back the transaction right after the transaction has rolled back completely it enters into the aborted state now after it enters into the aborted state that means all the changes have been undone now now after aborting the transaction the data recovery model will select one of the following two operation first is either it will restart the operation that is restart the transaction once again or it might kill the transaction entirely because there was some logical problem or logical error in that transaction right so that after the abortion there are two ways either it can restart the operation restart the transaction or it can kill the transaction now after entering into either the committed state or aborted state the transaction finally enters into the terminated state where the life cycle finally comes to an end so this is the life cycle of a transaction now to sum up active state it is the initial state transaction stays in this state while it is executing partially committed after the last statement has been executed we say that the transaction is in the partially committed state that means it has completed its execution but the changes are not yet updated to the database failed state some hardware or logical failure occurs due to which it becomes impossible to continue the normal execution then we say that the transaction is in the failed state aborted the transaction have rolled back and the database has been restored 
to its state prior to the start state then the transaction is in the aborted state committed state after all the changes made by the transaction have been successfully stored in the database and last is a terminated state after entering the committed state or the aborted state we say that the transaction has entered into the terminated state so that's all for today guys please give your feedback in the comment section so it would be helpful for me to make the further videos better